Hello, I am back uh, to make a clarification a, uh, on a current video that I have right now running on YouTube uh, showing how to delete an app from your iPhone. Except that, that I labeled it uh, how to delete an app from your iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, but technically, uh, if you're using the latest uh, iOS software of 12.0 or above, it doesn't matter what type of iPhone you have. It could be a 6, it could be a 7, it could be a Plus, a Max, an X, like this one here. The process is still the same. Uh, so that's a command here. I wanted to come back and make that clarification and show you that the process is the same uh, regardless of what phone you have. So if you wanted to delete an app, of course, all you needed to do is hold on on the app. And you see, they start jiggling. At this point, if the phone wasn't restricted from deleting the app, an X would appear on the app. And then you can hit that X and it would delete the app. In this case, you can see there's no X there. So that means the phone is restricted and it won't allow you to delete the app. So in order to delete the app, Okay, you need to go to your settings. In your settings, you're going to scroll down to screen time. From screen time, you're going to scroll down to content and privacy and restrictions. And then you're going to go to iTunes and App Store Purchases. And then it'll take you to this section here. And right here, you can see installing apps allow, deleting apps do not allow and in-app purchases allow. So you can restrict the phone from installing an app, you can restrict it from deleting an app, and you can also restrict it from uh, buying an in-app purchase app so it won't allow. Okay, in this case, we're interested in how to delete the app. Okay, so we're gonna go to a deleting app, hit it, and it's gonna take you here, and you can see it has allow, and don't allow. So now we're going to put allow. Okay, and we're going to go back to our home screen. We're going to hit the app, touch the app. You can see now they start jiggling and now you can see X appear. If I was to hit that X, that is going to delete the app. It's also going to give me a warning to tell me that, uh, that all data from that app is going to be uh, deleted. Now, if you know, if, if no X appears on the app, that means that that app is part of the software and it's not going to allow you to delete it anyway. So that's how come it has no X on it, just like the, um, app, you know, the app store. You had no, no X coming on, on it. See, so you can't delete that. But anything else, you could go ahead and delete it. Okay, so at, at, at this time, you can see the jiggling, that's the X. You hit the X, it'll warn you that you're about to get rid of all the data. You hit it and that app is gone. And of course, now if you wanna go back, uh, so you don't accidentally delete the app, you go back to your settings, go back to your privacy and restrictions, go back to your iTunes and purchases, hit your iTunes, um, hit, don't allow. Okay, now you're gonna go back. Now you hit the touch the X. See that they're jiggling and the X is gone. That means that the phone is restricted again from deleting that app. I hope that uh, clarifies this a little bit. And like I said, it doesn't matter what type of iPhone you have. As long as you're using the latest current software of 12.0 or above, the steps are the same. Like I said, this is an X here. And like I said, it, it was the same process as in my iPhone 6 Plus. So I hope this video will help you. And I hope it clarified it. And you have a good day.